And we are developing, there is, a, there is a, we're following a developing story out of Yemen this morning. Terrorists carrying out suicide attacks on two different mosques in the capital city of Sana'a. At least 120 dead, more than 300 injured. The mosques attacked were frequented by Houthi rebels. They're the group which recently took control of the capital. The AP reports that ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. There is a development in the Iranian nuke talks. It is an unusual development. President Obama praising the Iranian people in a new video released by the White House. It was made for the Iranian people and addressed to them. Check it out. The weeks ahead will be critical. Our negotiations have made progress, but gaps remain. And there are people in both our countries and beyond who oppose a diplomatic resolution. My message to you, the people of Iran, is that together we have to speak up for the future we seek. All right, that's an interesting development there. Joining us is Dr. Zudi Jasser, president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. He's the author of the book, Battle for the Soul of Islam. Hi, right, Dr. Jasser, what should we make of this? Well, I'm not sure, Stuart, who is advising the president, but uh, to release, uh, first of all, the holiday that he recognized uh, was Nowruz, which is actually a secular holiday on the New Year's uh, that uh, is based on the spring season. So the, the theocrats, the Khomeinis or mullahs, reject that holiday. And yet he was speaking to the people, fine. Speaking to Iranian nationals, fine. But if you think that video is going to help the talks, he's working with the mullahs. He's working with the theocrats. If the people are pleased by it, the mullahs will block the video. If they let the video go, it's probably not something that will please the people. So I don't really get who his audience is, what's the purpose of this. It's just sort of a bizarre misunderstanding of the Iranian regime controls the message inside Iran. It seems to us that Iran is winning on all fronts in the Middle East. They've successfully moved a, a general who is organizing troops in Iraq. They've successfully, I, I, I don't know about successfully, they're certainly looking like they're going to be successful in the talks on the Iranian nuke with, with President Obama. Look, and the, the ISIS, it, it just looks like Iran is winning hands down. Am I going too far with this? No, not at all. You're exactly right, because on every front, the lens we are using is one of appeasement. One, oh, they'll come to the table because they want to. Meanwhile, this video is going to be laughed at both by the Green Revolution type reformists inside Iran and by the Arab street outside Iran that sort of sees us appeasing the theocrats. So they're winning both in annexing Syria in saying they're on our side by countering ISIS, when in fact, as Prime Minister Netanyahu said, the enemy of our enemy is our enemy, and the president can't even say that. Uh, intelligence Director Clapper almost uh, uh, didn't know what to say because somehow Iran and Hezbollah fell off his terror assessment threat, which, as uh, Ambassador yeah. Bolton said, maybe it was just sort of a, not, a tip to the hat for these talks to say that somehow we'll open up. And, and Stuart, the most important thing is he was speaking to the Iranian people about how we will loosen up their economy. Well. I'm sorry, as a Syrian-American, are we saying that we're going to enter the realm of Putin and Assad, that somehow those who work with the theocrats we're going to do because of some nuclear agreement, which is absurd? Okay. Dr. Zudi Jasser, always a welcome guest on the program. We always thank you for being with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.